Webb truly is a cosmic time machine and the most powerful space telescope ever built. What if I told you that there is a hidden network of threads that connects everything in the universe? On December 25th, 2021, the ground shook as the most powerful telescope humanity's ever created was launched into space. The discovery of water ice on Titan is just the latest in a series of exciting discoveries made using the James Webb Space Telescope. So when it left Earth, the James Webb Telescope was able to detect structures older than the universe. Number one, oldest thread of the cosmic web. On a clear night, it might seem like the stars above are scattered evenly, but in reality, they're part of a cosmic web that links galaxies across the universe like a spider's web. Using data from the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have been able to discover a massive, gassy tendril composed of 10 closely packed galaxies stretching over 3 million light years. This ancient filament of gas and stars might be the oldest known thread of the cosmic web, stretching back nearly to the dawn of the universe. Surprisingly, this filament formed 830 million years after the Big Bang and is anchored by an extremely bright celestial object with a massive black hole known as a quasar at its center. Eventually, scientists believe that this filament will condense into a cluster of galaxies, similar to the Coma Cluster, which is is about 330 million light years from Earth. Number two, four ancient galaxies. According to two papers published in the journal Nature, an international team of 80 astronomers from 10 different countries discovered four ancient galaxies, including one that dates back to 320 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only 2% of its current age. Now you might be wondering, where were these galaxies even found? Well, these ancient galaxies were found in the Hubble Space Telescope's ultra-deep field, a small patch of sky that's home to an estimated 100,000 galaxies. While the Hubble Telescope had studied this field for over 20 years, it was limited to the visible spectrum and couldn't see in infrared, which is crucial for finding old galaxies due to a phenomenon called redshift. Redshift happens because the universe is constantly expanding. The farther an object is, the faster it's moving away, stretching its light to the red end of the spectrum. Number three, strange shapes. Over Jupiter's Great Red Spot, the Great Red Spot is the largest storm in the solar system. System. It's believed to be double the size of our Earth and has existed for about 300 years. The winds there range from around 270 to 425 miles per hour, up to 3.5 times as fast as a tornado here on Earth. Despite its age, size, and power, scientists had actually suspected that the atmosphere above the Great Red Spot wasn't all that interesting. However, new observations from the JDWST's near-infrared spectrograph show that this assumption couldn't be more wrong. From James Webb's position a million miles away from Earth, our planet's atmosphere was no hindrance to this $10 billion space telescope. So when researchers targeted the Great Red Spot with any spec, they discovered a variety of complex structures, including dark arcs and bright spots on Jupiter's red spot. Number four, cosmic gems in infant universe. Astronomers have found five massive star clusters in the cosmic gems arc that existed just 460 million years after the Big Bang. The Cosmic Gems Arc, officially designated SPT-0615JD1, was initially discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. This gravitationally lensed infant galaxy is around 13.3 billion light years from Earth. So, the light we see from this galaxy has been traveling to us for about 97% of the universe's lifetime. These clusters existed during a time when young galaxies were bursting with star formation and emitting huge amounts of ultraviolet light. They're also located in a small region of their galaxy, but are responsible for most of the ultraviolet light coming from that galaxy. This means that clusters like these may have been the primary drivers of rayonization. Now, these five early star clusters offer a unique opportunity to study star formation and the inner workings of infant galaxies, as no other telescope has ever made such a discovery before. Number five, the Pillars of Creation. The Pillars of Creation received a jaw-dropping 3D makeover thanks to new data from the James Webb Space Telescope. This new mosaic 
showcased in a NASA video, highlighted the major differences between the two telescopes. Space telescopes typically specialize in certain wavelengths of light. While Hubble captures primarily visible light, James Webb is more sensitive to infrared light. With this new visualization, everyone can experience the rich, captivating landscape of the pillars in a new way. Number 6. First Direct Image of an Exoplanet since the discovery of the first exoplanet in the 1990s, scientists have identified over 3,000 worlds orbiting faraway stars. However, only around two dozen of these have been imaged directly. Most exoplanets are so distant that we can only detect them through a dip in the light of their host star when the planet passes in front of it. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope has changed the game. In September, it captured its first direct image of an exoplanet called HIP 65426b. This was a huge milestone for Webb and for astronomy in general. To view the exoplanet, scientists used two of Webb's cameras, several filters, and the telescope's coronagraphs, which block out the light of the central star. Along with the telescope's exceptional sensitivity, the planet has several features that make it easier to observe. At 100 times the distance from our Sun to Earth, HIP 65426b is much farther away from its host star than any planet in our solar system. This colossal gas giant is also exceptionally large, about 12 times the size of Jupiter. But thanks to Webb's advanced technology, we can now observe this distant exoplanet in stunning detail. Number 7. Mysterious Ripples surround Wolf Rayet star. In July 2023, Webb captured an image of a distant star called WWR 140, a Wolf Rayet star with some truly mind-blowing details. Now, this isn't just any star. WR 140 features Webb's signature diffraction pattern, an imaging artifact. But what caught everyone's attention was the ripple-like pattern of concentric rings around the star which have a slightly boxy shape. Unlike the diffraction pattern, these unlikely shaped rings are real features. Wolf Rayet stars are massive stars nearing the end of their lives, having already released much of their hydrogen into space. The strangely shaped rings around WR140 are caused by the interaction between this star and its smaller companion star. The stars are surrounded by a cloud of dust, which the companion star sculpts into a unique shape. The discovery of these concentric rings around WR 140 is not only visually stunning, but also provides valuable insights into the life cycles of massive stars and the complex interactions between them. And it's fascinating to see how these interactions can shape the dust and gas in space into such intricate patterns. Number eight. WASP-39b. Meet WASP-39b, a boiling gas giant about the size of Saturn, located around 700 light-years from Earth. This planet orbits its host star at an insanely close distance, about eight times closer than Mercury is to our Sun. Using Webb's main camera and two of its spectrographs, scientists were able to make some groundbreaking discoveries. They identified carbon dioxide in WASP-39b's atmosphere, marking the first time this gas has ever been found in an exoplanet's atmosphere. But that's not all. The planet's thick atmosphere is also dominated by clouds containing sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide. By studying this atmosphere, researchers were able to infer fascinating details about the planet's history and formation. Scientists believe WASP-39b formed from a collision of smaller planetesimals. Its atmosphere has more oxygen than carbon, suggesting it formed much farther from its star than where it is now. This gives us valuable clues about the planet's migration and evolution. Number 9. Clouds on Titan. Meet Titan, a weird and intriguing place. Unlike any other moon in our solar system, Titan has rock made of water, ice, 
rivers, lakes, and seas composed of liquid methane and ethane. It's also the only moon with a thick, hazy atmosphere dotted with methane clouds. In November 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope captured some extraordinary atmospheric data from Titan, and scientists were thrilled with what they saw. They were seeing a cloud, and it wasn't just one cloud. Webb captured two clouds, including one over Titan's largest sea, Kraken Mare. The team was so intrigued by this discovery that they contacted the Keck Observatory in Hawaii for follow-up observations just two days later. The Keck observations confirmed a cloud over Kraken Mare, though it had changed shape or been replaced by another cloud. This indicates the dynamic and changing nature of Titan's atmosphere. Number 10. The Southern Ring Nebula For a long time, scientists believed that the Southern Ring Nebula was simply a dying star, known as a white dwarf that had expelled its outer layers. These layers glow brightly as the white dwarf radiates waves of energy. There's also another non-dying star in this binary system, largely obscured by the brightly lit gas. However, when the James Webb Space Telescope imaged the nebula with its near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, it revealed something astonishing. With MIRI, researchers saw that the white dwarf wasn't invisible as they'd expected in that wavelength. Instead, it was glowing red and surrounded by a haze of cool gas. This raised a big question. Where had the gas come from? The only logical explanation was that the nebula hit a third star, which was the source of this gas. This discovery completely changed our understanding of the Southern Ring Nebula. Webb's main camera also captured intriguing shells around the outer edges of the nebula, somewhat like those around WR-140. It's believed that a third star somewhere between the two known ones, could have caused these ripple-like shells. Number 11, brown dwarf with sand clouds. Did you know that the JWST wasn't actually designed to find exoplanets? But guess what? It stumbled upon something even more fascinating. Meet VHS 1256b. Unlike traditional planets, VHS 1256b is actually a brown dwarf, a celestial oddity. It's larger than planets, yet too small to be a star, emitting a dim reddish glow. But what makes VHS 1256b truly bizarre is its atmosphere. Observations by Webb reveal that the brown draft contains sandy silicate clouds, a feature that's literally been never seen before. And if that wasn't all, this peculiar brown dwarf also exhibits signs of youth and turbulence. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, Webb identified a cocktail of chemicals in VHS 1256B's atmosphere. Water, methane, carbon dioxide, and even potassium. Number 12. Hidden Star Formation As galaxies collide, unlike telescopes like Hubble, which rely on visible light, Webb is able to harness the power of infrared to penetrate cosmic dust and reveal celestial secrets. Recently, the James Webb Telescope captured a striking image of two galaxies locked in a cosmic dance known as IC 1623. What Webb saw astonished scientists. Nestled within this collision were regions of intense star formation, blazing with activity unseen by Hubble. Infrared radiation from these star-forming regions lit up Webb's sensors, creating its signature diffraction pattern, usually reserved for bright stars. This radiant spectacle, obscured by dust from Hubble's view, offers a new layer of understanding about stellar birth. Located 270 million light-years away, IC 1623 isn't just a collision of galaxies, it's a cosmic forge sculpting stars at a rate 20 times faster than our Milky Way. Number 13, 
oldest black hole in the universe. Imagine peering back over 13 billion years into the past to a time when the universe was just a cosmic infant. James Webb has done just that, spotting the earliest known supermassive black hole at the heart of a fledgling galaxy, a mere 570 million years after the Big Bang. This black hole isn't just any ordinary one, it's a behemoth weighing in at a staggering 10 million times the mass of our sun. Nestled within a baby galaxy, this discovery hints at a time when such cosmic giants were abundant and growing voraciously during what astronomers call the cosmic dawn. Number 14, potential signs of alien life. On K218b, Meet K218b, a sub-Neptune exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of a red dwarf star. This Goldilocks water world holds promise as a potential for extraterrestrial life and habitability as the planet contains a rich tapestry of hydrogen, methane and carbon dioxide. These glasses are indicators of a hydrogen-rich Haitian world where conditions might support life as we know it. Even more intriguing was the detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound with a distinctive cabbage-like aroma on Earth produced by microscopic algae in our oceans. Number 15, rogue planets, floating in space. Turning its gaze toward the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery, James Webb uncovered something truly astonishing. The observations revealed 42 pairs of Jupiter-mass binary objects, or jumbos. These are Jupiter-sized planets drifting through space in pairs. Some of these pairs are separated by vast distances, up to 390 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. What makes jumbos so perplexing is their nature. They're too small to be stars yet their paired existence makes them unlikely to be rogue planets ejected from solar systems. Number 16. Eerily perfect Einstein ring. The James Webb Telescope shattered yet another cosmic distance record with its discovery of an incredible Einstein ring. This phenomenon occurs when the light from a distant galaxy is warped by the gravity of a dense foreground galaxy, creating a stunning, ring-like appearance. But how distant is this gravitational lens, a staggering 21 billion light-years away? Given that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, this means that the light from this galaxy has traveled nearly twice that distance due to the expansion of the cosmos. Mind-blowing, right? Number 17. Dying Star. Thanks to the JWST, we now have a stunning preview of what our own solar system might look like in its final moments. Webb was able to capture a breathtaking image of the Ring Nebula. Located 2,200 light years away, this donut shaped nebula is the stunning aftermath of a dying star's explosion. At the center of the ring, nebula lies a tiny white dwarf, the remnants of the star's core. This pinprick of light is all that remains after the star hurled its outer layers into space, creating a magnificent eye-shaped spectacle. This celestial event gives us a glimpse into the distant future of our own solar system. Number 18. Cosmic Cliffs The Cosmic Cliffs are located in the Carina Nebula, about 7,500 light-years from Earth. This stunning region of gas and dust earned its nickname because the gaseous structures resemble a majestic mountain range. What gives these cliffs their striking appearance is the intense ultraviolet light from newly formed stars. These powerful blasts of radiation erode the dust clouds, creating the dramatic mountain shapes we see in the image. Number 19, Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet is a stunning group of five galaxies, four of which are gravitationally interacting with each other. The fifth galaxy, while appearing to be part of the group, is actually in the foreground. This complex dance of galaxies provides a unique opportunity to study the processes that shape the cosmos. 
Clusters like Stefan's Quintet are more than just visually stunning. They are cosmic laboratories where we can observe how galaxies interact and sometimes merge. Number 20. The Depths of Space In 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope pointed its cameras at a seemingly empty patch of sky for 10 days, capturing the famous Hubble Deep Field image. This revealed some 3,000 previously unknown objects, most of them distant galaxies. Fast forward, Webb took on a similar challenge, but with a twist. Webb repeated Hubble's feat, but it did so in record time. Sarah Kendrew, an astronomer from the European Space Agency, explained that Webb's image took just about 12 hours to capture. The resulting image was unveiled by US President Joe Biden, featuring a galaxy cluster known as SMAX 0723. This cluster, located nearly 5 billion light years from Earth, dominates the foreground of the picture. Number 21, water. On PDs 70, water is essential for all life on Earth. Simply put, no water means no life, at least as far as we currently understand it. That's why finding water in other star systems is such a big deal, and astronomers have detected water vapor in the PDS 70 system. What's even more remarkable is that this system is still in the process of forming planets. Right now, it's just a disk of gas and dust, and the water vapor was found in the inner regions of this disk, the exact place where planets like Earth form. Number 22, young carbon. Another essential element for life is carbon. Its unique ability to form strong bonds with many other elements makes it the backbone of organic molecules. And the presence of carbon is critical for the development of complex life forms. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have detected the presence of carbon in a surprising place, the extremely early universe. Number 23, Jumping Jupiter Jet Stream. Jupiter is famous for its bands of colored clouds circulating in the uppermost reaches of its atmosphere. These bands are not just pretty to look at as they reveal the complex weather patterns of this gas giant. Using Webb, astronomers were able to resolve what once appeared as fuzzy stretches of clouds into sharp features, unveiling the presence of a jet stream. This high-speed river of air travels through Jupiter's atmosphere with a mind-blowing speed of 320 miles per hour, which is twice as fast as a Category 5 hurricane on Earth. 24. Enceladus Beneath the icy crust of Enceladus lies a liquid water ocean kept warm by the gravitational pull of Saturn. This subsurface ocean makes Enceladus one of the prime candidates in the search for life, and using the JDWST, Astronomers were able to spot a plume of water jetting out from a vent in the ice, a phenomenon known as a cryovolcano or an ice volcano. This spectacular event reveals the dynamic nature of Enceladus and offers a unique opportunity to study its subsurface ocean. 25. Star Formations a phenomenon astronomers have long hoped to directly image was captured by Webb's near-infrared camera. In this stunning image of the Serpent's Nebula, the discovery lies in the northern area of this young, nearby star-forming region. Astronomers found an intriguing group of protostellar outflows. These outflows are formed when jets of gas spewing from newborn stars collide with nearby gas and dust at high speeds. These collisions create beautiful and energetic displays that offer a peek into the early stages of star formation. While typically, these jets have varied orientations within one region. If you found this exploration of Webb's discoveries fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.